Hey, what's happening? Welcome to Cook, Eat, Repeat. I'm Chef Nathan Lippy. Today, I want to talk about game day. I want to talk about some weekend treats, some little nibblies. Do it. Deliciousness. Uh, today, I'm going to make some bacon corn fritters that are phenomenal. They're really passable, really easy to do, and they're pretty impressive. I mean, passable? CJ was impressed. What does that mean? Passable? Like gastronomy yeah, like, passable? No, like people around you say, here, have one. Oh, Pass it out. Appetizer Pass passable. passable. They're, they're portable. Is that better? Portable is, better is a little better. Passable. No? Okay. Yep. Fritters. Here we go. The first thing we need to do is get to our bacon. Today I'm using my favorite, which actually I'm out what of else? now. What else is there? What, yeah, what else is there? We're going to use thick cut bacon mostly because I feel it in my fingers. I feel uh, <laughs> that it just gives me the best render. It gives me the best texture. So I'm gonna start with that. A few pieces of thick cut bacon. We're probably not gonna use all of this. But uh, it doesn't matter. Just I was, cook it. I was about to say, we're gonna have extra, but I don't think there's a such thing as extra bacon. No, I've, I've never just had bacon lying around. Have you ever heard anyone say leftover bacon? Nope. Because that's not a thing. Apparently. Definitely not, not, a not a thing. All right, let's talk about our batter. This one's really, really easy. We're gonna do equal parts cornmeal and all-purpose flour. Okay. So in our bowl, uh, this is really easy. It, you really don't have to measure. It's more of a by eye sort of thing. Uh, if you would like to measure, let's say half a cup of flour, half a cup. I really of need corn. to learn my eyeball measurement numbers. Well, how about, how about visual? How about that? Can you yeah. tell that's yeah? yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, that's very cool. So this, actually. we're also going to add just a bit of baking powder. You see that, CJ? Baking powder is going to give us just a little bit of activation, just a yep. little bit of lift to this batter. So not much, just a touch, maybe a teaspoon or so. Okay. To this, we're also going to add some salt, big kosher salt, just like that, maybe a little bit more. And there's a lot of white going on in that bowl. Sorry, let's get some pepper in there. There we better? go. There's some contrast. Uh, I like this coarse black pepper. It just makes me happy. I really dig it. But I do want to add just a bit of color. So I'm using my tried and true smoked paprika. This is both packed with flavor and it's going to give us a really great color in our batter. So just a bit like that. Now I'm going to mix my dry ingredients together before adding anything wet, only because it's easier to mix and we get a more consistent flavor across yeah. our batter. All your all your ingredients incorporate easier when it's all dry. our eggs in one basket. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. Nice and even. <laughs> now to this, we're also going to add. Uh, you know, I'm going to wait for the wet because I want to add some peppers. Are you serious? Uh huh. Are you looking for the mandolin? Or no. a knife. You didn't bring what out you... either one? Oh, no, no, no. No, no. My knife was out here. Don't. I, I, you go take care of that. I'll be over here taking care of the important stuff. Because I got swindled earlier. Because I didn't even, I wasn't even leaving to go get an ingredient. I was simply going to get Nate and myself some more water. And he did this. It said nine earlier. Now it says zero. Well, here's what we're gonna do. I found something. What'd you find? Oh, Nate, that's not good. I'm not happy. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I'm not happy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm not happy. Not happy. <laughs> that was good. I walked inside and your wife, uh, CJ's wife's inside, and she goes, "Walk of shame," and I went, "No." <laughs> yep. Let's give a flip. I'm definitely going to multi-flip this one. We're rendering out the fat. I've got my 36-inch um, at medium-low heat. because I don't want it to be too, uh, too screaming hot because we're going to cook our fritters in this bacon fat. Now, there is a difference between cooking your bacon and slowly rendering out bacon fat. I mean, you can see over here, the bacon is cooking slowly and the fat is coming out more evenly, giving us crispy bacon, but also getting all of the fat out. And that's what we want because that's liquid gold. Oh, Nate's sad. <laughs> hey, you should ring that bell. You can ring that we bell should, once. We should, we should. There we go. Okay. Let's get back to even. Speaking Prince of which, even? Oh. sad. Let's talk about red jalapeno peppers. I'm gonna take the top off here. We're gonna do kind of a 
uh, rough chop. It doesn't have to be exact or perfect. Uh, you know this trick, right? If you don't like the heat, well, sure. most of the heat is contained in this pith. That's the white part and the seeds. So if you don't like it, you can just give a nice little slice out like so. Get rid of that. And then you're left with all of the beautiful jalapeno flavor without Voila. all the heat, right? I do like the heat, so I'm gonna keep it on this one. Yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna nice. turn this over. We're gonna just do a nice, fine little mince. Uh, we want it to be real bite-sized because, again, this is going in a batter, and we don't want to punch our guests in the face with <laughs> a massive bit of heat. Unless you have lame guests. Who Unless CJ's your guest, in which case... Punch him. Punch away. <laughs> All right, once our peppers are all done, we're gonna bring our bowl back, and in we go with our peppers, just like that. That looks really beautiful. We're gonna add some lime juice, give your mm. limes a roll. You all know this trick. It's just to kind of loosen up the cell structure on the inside of the lime, making it easier to squeeze. For now we're gonna add some milk with our whisk. Some milk? Some, ooh, who says milk? Anybody in the Don't. South Valley of the some 505 milk. says milk. Can't do it especially like little Cholita girls, like in milk? seventh and eighth grade. Really? Like, give me some milk. milk. And they want a sandwich in a bag. Sandwich? I need like a sandwich or a hamburger or some milk. Yeah. That's a good one. All right, that's a little too thick, so we're gonna thin it out just a little bit more. So we're gonna thin, uh, thicken this up with our corn. That looks, I feel good about that. That looks good. All right. Oh, hey, chunk of bacon. See how we're doing here. Crap. Oh, we're looking great. Crap. Looking Crap. great. Crap. Crap, crap. So if they go a bit more, we want extra crispy. We want almost well done. Now I've got my corn. I'm gonna go straight on the side like this and cut down so I can cut all of the corn off of the cob. Just like that. Beautiful. I really like corn on the cob. It's, it's breaking so my heart that you're taking the corn off of the cob. Why? You're still getting all the flavor. Don't go breaking my heart. I couldn't if I tried. <laughs> Zang. <laughs> Zang. I like doing it like this. Uh, you could buy canned corn and this would work just fine. But I feel like that natural, beautiful, fresh sweetness really elevates the flavor. And it just gives you a little bit more passion. Whoa, that corn was... Shaped? Just squirting corn juice everywhere. Shorn. Shorn. I can assure you. Wow. <laughs> huh? This is like the top, uh, that, that, um... The corn palace that Todd went to the other oh, day. Oh, that was a great video. Yeah, he was awesome. The, the guy, that was, running, yeah, the guy that was hat? running the place, he had the best, like, cheesy puns. <laughs> Don't worry. We're all ears, and we won't stalk you. So I'm adding all of that corn off the cob right to my batter. We're going to give this a good mix. Mix that corn in. I have a little bit of milk left over in case it's too thick. I can thin it out a little bit, but I'm feeling good about this, CJ. Okay. Feeling really good about this. This feels, this feels great, CJ. Is that that feeling? Yeah. All right, we're gonna bring all of this gorgeousness over to our cutting board. Beautiful. One more piece over here. Get in there. And let's give this a nice little chop. It's okay that it's still hot. Uh, just don't touch it. Obviously. We just, but we're not gonna worry about draining it. No. That's what you're saying. Some of that bacon fat still left over on here is fine. We're gonna mix this into our batter and it's gonna be glorious. Beautiful. All right, let's take all of this beautiful bacon. Dude, this is awkward, you shading. I mean, it's appropriate. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm grateful, but yeah, you moved and then it's Hey, wait, death. how about Every, that? That's better. We're good? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, you beautiful thing. Look at that. Mm. I dig it. I feel really good about this, buddy. All right. All right, here we go. I'm gonna add, you know, get out of there, corn. Now, over on our griddle, check this out, buddies. We have... Oh. Got one. Yeah. Got one. That was... Uh... Got a little bit of bacon left over. I wanna get rid of some of that leftover bacon. Uh, that's just a little bit left over because they're a little burnt because they've been sitting here. Get rid of those but I'm gonna keep all of this gorgeous bacon fat. Beautiful. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Liquid gold, my friends. All right, you can okay. stay here, CJ. I've I'm got gonna stay here, because it's not bright. Let's all right, so we're gonna it. take all of that beautiful batter and corn, and we're gonna make lovely little piles, just like that. 
Okay. Kind of make them a little roundish if you'd like. Okay. As they cook, they'll start to hold together, making these beautiful little, little fritters. So you talk to your food like Bob Ross talks about happy little birds and <laughs> just blessed little mountains and happy little accidents. This is just a this is just a happy, glorious little river. Maybe there's a happy tree. Look at that. Isn't that a nice little tree? We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Are you complimenting me or are you teasing me? No, I'm definitely teasing you. Well, I enjoy my food and I have a relationship. Well, it turns out I love Bob Ross, so you're all right. Oh, you beautiful little thing. Let's do six. Six works, right? Oh. Is that a tractor or a motorcycle? What? Huh? Ah. Eh? Ah. Ah. Oh, that was really loud. It's a giant truck passing my house. Okay, let's talk about the West. Uh, I think you guys have seen me do this a few times. I really like mixing mayo. Uh, mayo's great by itself. Duke's mayo, uh, I'll put it right here, buddy. You can get a shot of that. Yeah. I like suspending flavors and using mayo as my medium. So for the sauce, yeah, you want my shade? Yes, this. How's that? Thank you. So All I'm gonna start with some mayo, just like that. Okay. I'm gonna add a bit of sour cream as well. This is gonna bring right out, yeah, you do that. I'm gonna do that. This is probably, let's do half and half, so half mayo half sour cream. The sour cream is going to bring out some really nice uh, brighter colors. Okay. A little bit of lime juice. Okay. Oh, I don't, don't want to put that in the sunshine. No, don't do it. It, just, it really got crazy bright. Yeah, like shockingly bright. A little bit of lime juice here. Some happy little lime juice. Happy little lime juice. Delicious, just beautiful. tart, savory, whatever, happy, man. Happy, happy. Ooh, it's almost pool time. Yes. Oh, I, you hear the kids? I do. They're, they're the ready kids. for pool time. Yep. To this, I'm going to add some salt. Just like that, and some pepper. Put some pepper in my salt. There we go. There we are. And a bit of this smoked paprika. Yummy. Yummy. Good touch. It's kind of a lot of the stuff, uh, same stuff we had in our uh, batter. One last thing I'm gonna add is fresh cilantro. Okay. Just a bit, not much. All right, that looks good. Let's give that a little stir real quick. Incorporate all those beautiful ingredients. This is just gonna give us a nice dipping sauce. Oh man. Speaking of that. which. Is it bright? Let's go check. No, we're good. Let's go check our fritters real quick. Oh, are you ready for this? Yeah, give it to me. Banana, brink, No. Oh, oh, hello, you little beauty. Crispy, gorgeous nugs. Look at that. So, so good. The bacon fat's really great. It adds a lot of flavor, but also the heat is really natural. We'll let these go for just a bit longer. You can see. I don't know if you can see the crust, CJ. Oh yeah. But uh, let me. Let's, can you? Yep. Can you hear that? I can hear it. Nice and crisp. That's kind of like the key technique on fritters. You want crisp, gorgeous, crunchy little nugs. Which I think game day food, like, I mean like tailgate food, crispy is kind of the name of the game, right? Definitely. Hey, can we please really ring the bell for a second? Oh, it's, it's hot. Really it's highly stressed out over here. You str oh. What'd you do with the bell, dude? What'd you do with the bell, dude? Hey, Just kidding. There we go. We're back. Okay. Oh, we might need to take there a break. There are bugs ever. Oh, can we take another walk? Someone's got jalapeno fingers and rubbed their face. Who? What? You did? Ouch. Oh, CJ, why would you do that? I don't know. <laughs> I saw the light. No more darkness. No more light. When I'm so happy with sorrow inside. Okay. That's one way to get you to shut up. Praise <laughs> it was so mean. Lord. It that felt really mean coming. Rude. I'm really sorry, buddy. That was buddy. really rude. Hey, I'm really sorry. So these little nugs are crispy and beautiful and perfect. Let's bring them, let's do two at a time, okay? Okay. Okay. Gonna have some lighting here. issues here. here. Shade, I'll oh, be in the shade. Jeez. There's two of them. What I like to do for presentation style, so I'll stack them up like that. I'm gonna slice them right through the middle. So these are in half, right? Ooh, let's do a yeah. couple more. These are, uh, like I said earlier, they're great for like a past hors d'oeuvre or just like a little appetizer action. Let's save those two off to the side. I'm gonna grab a fun little plate. Hey, what's the difference between an appetizer and an hors d'oeuvre? Um, or did I just stump you? No, an appetizer is something that's served as a first course, it's like a first. An hors d'oeuvre is something that is bite-sized and individual. So no, you didn't stump me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, honey, there's the hors d'oeuvres. So I'm just gonna take these beautiful nugs they're real crisp and lovely. These are more like uh, dippers. Ooh, that one's warm. Kind of warm. Can beautiful. I, like give them, them a, rhinos? give them a stack just like that. It's beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. Let's add our sauce to our little bowl here. And let's, um, let's have a nib. 
Let's have a little bite. We've got crispy, we've got savory, we've got some sweet, we've got some heat. This really is a palate pleaser. Huh? Hey, yo. It's a palate pleaser. pleaser. Let's take a dip. I'm gonna grab one of these guys. You'll notice they firm up just a bit. That's the cornmeal and the flour. Give it a dip in that sauce. Here we go. Oh. Bacon, the corn, these are so good. The you true test will be if kids will eat it. Babies. Hey, Gideon. It's my, my five-year-old. Hey, come here, I want you to try something. You like yeah. bacon? Little bite. Yeah. It's a little hot too, it's a little spicy. Wait for him. <laughs> too spicy? Mm -hmm. I forgot I had those peppers in there. <laughs> it's oh, pretty spicy. That's right, those jalapenos. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Jump in the pool, it'll be all right. Oh, somebody needs a milk break. Those are super fun. If you have a game day coming up, you have some friends coming over, you wanna have some appetizers or some hors d'oeuvres. This Ooh. could be either, depending on how you served it. Check out CJ's show, it's fine. Check out Blackstone Betty's show, Todd Tobin's show, This Is Cook, Eat, Repeat. I'm your host, Chef Nathan Lippy. Go to blackstoneproducts.com for this recipe and a ton more. And if you're on YouTube, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you're on Facebook, follow it, share it. What do all the, all the cool all kids the things. do? All those things. All the things the cool kids do. Do all those things. Yep. Good seeing you, everyone. I don't know. Every, you never. Just goodbye. <laughs>